Lord, prepare us to receive your word, clear our minds and warm our hearts. Assure us of your loving purposes for us and speak into our lives today. Our quiet moment with God today comes from John chapter 7, verses 37 to 44. If you would like to open your Bibles to follow along this passage with me, you're welcome to. On the last day of the festival, the great day, while Jesus was standing there, he cried out, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. As the scripture has said, out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now he said this about the spirit which believers in him were to receive, for as yet there was no spirit, because Jesus was not yet glorified. When they heard these words, some in the crowd said, This is really the prophet. Others said, This is the Messiah. But some asked, Surely the Messiah does not come from Galilee, does he? Has not the scripture said that the Messiah is descended from David and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So there was a division in the crowd because of him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. At this point in John's Gospel, Jesus is facing a lot of opposition from the Jews. As some translations say, it was really the Jewish leaders who were threatened and worried by his revolutionary message. And modern translators tend to make this clear. There's no agreement on who he is. Some believe he is deceiving the people. They are impressed by his miracles and wonder what the authorities are thinking. Some are convinced he is the Christ. The picture is one of uncertainty. We can imagine people whispering to each other, arguing and trying to make up their minds. No one in John's account is indifferent to Jesus. They all realise something important is happening. In the meantime, Jesus calls on the authority of his father who sent him. He cuts through the muddle and hesitation with an appeal to experience. Whoever is thirsty should come to me and whoever believes in me should drink. We can spend a lot of time puzzling over the gospel, trying to work out exactly what we think about everything, weighing the pros and cons of every argument before we commit ourselves and perhaps always finding another reason to do nothing. In the end, Jesus invites us to come and see whether it really does satisfy our spiritual hunger and thirst. Let us pray. God, thank you for giving me the ability to think, reason and judge for myself. Help me to know when it's right simply to trust you and to respond to the call of Jesus to come to him. Amen.